design, they do not come out of the blue. They come out of a couple of uh, piece of uh, narratives, piece of trends that have been uh, explored in the past few years. One of them is the landmark and very uber famous book, uh, The Experience Economy. Um, now, according to the, uh, many of you, have you heard this title before? Okay. Uh, this book has been written at the end of the 90s, and the basic assumption of these two uh, writers, they basically explored the, the, the so-called the, the progression of economic value. Now, if you chart a trajectory of uh, the economic value during the ages, we can witness from the agrarian economy, which was based, again, on farming, uh, we basically extracted commodities or we just harvested them out of the soil. The next leap was the industrial economy, where the industrial economy, as we know, it was characterized by the huge production of huge amount of goods in an industrial way. And that's basically we make goods. That's the making of goods. And now in the past 50, 40 years, we witnessed the booming of the service economy, especially since the IT revolution, more or less. And uh, basically a full-blown economy exploded around the, the concept of services. And now we reach the final stage, which is the one we already find ourselves into in the past 15 or 20 years. It's the so-called experience economy, where companies basically stage experiences. Now, the, the underline of the title is quite uh, self-explanatory. Work is theater, and every business is a stage, which is a paraphrasis of a very famous uh, Shakespeare quote. Uh, so nowadays, we go for not only products or services, but we want experiences. We want to live things. Experience that then becomes mem become memories, become stories that we tell our friends. So we go on holiday not to bring back a souvenir, that kind of passé. We go on holiday to do something interesting that we can live. And so the souvenirs, it's our stories that we collect, and share, both live and on the social media, of course. So uh, just to give you a feeling of what this progression of, uh, this is a very key example that these people make, on how the same uh, good, this is the trajectory of how something like a coffee cup, uh, starting from pure uh, extracted commodities, nowadays the value of a coffee cup at the producer, it's worth a couple of uh, uh, euro cents, one or two euro cents. When you grind them and sell the, the coffee in a, in, a, in a drug store, the value of the coffee is more or less 25 euro cents. If you are served the coffee in a bar or in a restaurant, it becomes a service. And you can pay from one to three euros a coffee, easy. But if you drink the coffee at Starbucks, it's a very expensive coffee, but it's not only the coffee itself. It's the experience of being in a Starbucks, checking your emails, navigating in a comfortable armchair in a nice place, and the, the Starbucks experience. And if you drink the coffee in Venice, in the, in the very famous uh, Florian Cafe in Piazza San Marco, a coffee costs 12 euros. Because along with the coffee, you are sitting in a wonderful Venice in a one one in a kind place, and along with the coffee, you have this small orchestra playing just for you. That's what it means. You're not only drinking a coffee, you are in Venice, for Christ's sake, with a wonderful orchestra playing for you. So this is what it means, the trajectory of uh, something in the direction of making the consumption experience an experience.